Hey, what's up traders? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my portfolio based trending view backtesting tool to run multiple backtests on multiple pairs on multiple strategies, combine them all into a spreadsheet to see how your system or systems may have performed on a portfolio level when you traded across multiple symbols or timeframes or systems. So here is an example of how that looks. We have a bunch of performance metrics here that we can analyze to see, you know, how our systems max drawdown would have been, what our risk adjusted returns are, MAR ratio, um, compounded annual growth rate, etc. We can get all that information across an entire portfolio through the strategy tester by exporting our data into this tool that I made. <music> material in this video is financial advice. I'm experienced in managing my own finances, but I'm not qualified to give anyone advice on what to buy or sell. You should always do your own research and due diligence before engaging in trading or investing, and please seek professional guidance if you need it. So in today's video, I will show you how to import two different systems. One is my free breakout fader script, which I've released on YouTube as part of my Pine Connector automated trading series, where I'm showing you guys how to auto trade trading view scripts through Pine Connector. That script is completely free and it is on YouTube. The source code will be below in the video links or pinned comment. We are going to export this data and the data from my ultimate pullback strategy, which is a different strategy I have on my website, theartoftrading.com. I'm going to combine these two different systems. They're very different systems. One's kind of a mean reversion system. One is a trend system. By combining these together, we can see how these two systems perform side by side across a bunch of different forex pairs so these are just two profitable systems that i created that make it really easy they're simple systems that i can simply and easily import into this tool but this should theoretically work with any system that has accurate commission and position sizing in the trading view back test so let's get straight into it first of all this is the premium version of this spreadsheet i have two versions a free version and a premium version this premium version has some extra bells and whistles and it's only available to people in my courses the free version is the first draft of this tool before i sunk six or seven hours into building it out to where it is now and it still has the core functionality of the premium versions so if you don't have the money to invest in courses like I didn't when I started trading, then don't worry, you can just use the free version. But for anyone who is already in my courses, go and get the premium version because it does have some extra charts and things like that. So before we begin, you cannot request access to edit this spreadsheet. What you need to do is come up to file, make a copy. So file, make a copy, call it whatever you want. Um, this script will come with an apps script file, which is like the pine script of Google Sheets. Now the script does come with some warnings that the um, Google Drive will throw at you about security issues and stuff like that. It's honestly, there's nothing malicious in it. You can right click this, so click on this link to view the source code to the script that's embedded. It's literally just a bunch of automation uh, techniques for stripping out the important data from the backtest information we get from TradingView and merging it. it just merges all of that data into one spreadsheet so there's nothing malicious here just a whole bunch of nerdy code so if you get any warnings don't worry about them i'm not trying to steal your bitcoin and you can read the source code there if you're unsure of anything but you will need to click make a copy now we have an editable version of my template and now what we need to do is come up to trade tools and click show sidebar and this will run a script and will now require authorization to run that script. So we need to click OK. And then we'll need to log in to confirm who we are. Select all. Um, it says see, edit, create and delete all your Google Sheets spreadsheets. This script only applies to the spreadsheet that we are running it in. I don't know why this alert pops up. I couldn't find a way to explicitly tell Google that my script isn't touching any other spreadsheet other than the one the script's running in, but you do need to click this and click OK. The script doesn't send data anywhere. It's completely internal. It's completely local. So I, I don't know why these alerts pop up. But anyway, if you trust me, click continue and the script will run. And now we have our little sidebar popping up here and it will load some data. And there we go. Now what we need to do is go and get our backtest data from TradingView. 
To do that, we can click on this little drop down box in the strategy tester overview. So go to overview on the strategy tester on the system you want to include in your portfolio. Click on this drop down box, click export data, and that will download a spreadsheet. You can either open this in Excel, if you have Excel, or you can import it into Google Sheets for free if you don't have Excel or some other spreadsheet software. Once you have this spreadsheet uh, downloaded or imported, the only tab we're interested in is list of trades. So click on list of trades, copy all of this data. So you could either hit control A or command A on a Mac, um, or there's probably a way up here, I don't know. I just go control A, control C, copy all that data into the first cell, control paste, and there we have all of the required data. So this is every trade, entry, exit, date, time, and the profit that we made. That's all the data we need, right? We need to know when did the trade exit and how much money did it make or lose us. That's all we really need to know in order to combine all of that data into a portfolio based spreadsheet. The profit and loss actually includes your commission drag. So if you've accurately inputted commissions into this commission tab here, then your commissions are included in this performance report. So that's really handy. We don't have to add commissions in anywhere. It's all handled by this formula or this script that I made. So now if I come to trading view, I'm on pound dollar, one hour time frame, and here is the trading data I want to export. We could also turn on deep back testing, but for today, I wanna to keep things simple. 273 trades, roughly 200 and something trades per pair, per system. That's gonna be plenty to demonstrate what I need to show you guys today. So I'm currently on the ultimate pullback strategy and I am on pound yen, the one hour time frame. So I need to come to my spreadsheet here, correct that to pound yen. Chart time frame is one hour. Uh, strategy ID will just be UPS for ultimate pullback strategy. Now I can click extract data and that will run a script that just stripped out all the important information from that uh, trading view data and imported it into a new tab. We have our running P&L as a percentage of our account balance. And this includes commission drag. So that's why I'm risking 1% per trade, but we have, you know, 0 .0, uh, 0.03%, 0.03%, 0.02%. This was a break even trade, but 0.03%. Uh, this is commission drag. So the 0.03% is the commission on top of my account balance that was taken from that trade, right? We have trade number, we have the date and time the trade closed and the strategy, the profit, the pair, etc. Now I need to do this for all the other pairs, systems, timeframes that I want to include in my backtest portfolio. So now if we go back to trading view, uh, we'll do Euro dollar next. This was another profitable pair with my current UPS settings. Export data, open the spreadsheet, list of trades, Control A, Control C, go to import tab, paste it in the first cell, change this to Euro USD and click extract data. It takes a second and there we go. We have another tab done. Now we go back to trading view. Now I want to do my breakout fader script. I wanna combine the data from my breakout fading strategy with my UPS. So we're on the same time frame. I could be on any other time frame, doesn't matter. But we'll stick on the hourly. We're on pound dollar this time. So I need to export my data. Open the spreadsheet. List of trades. Copy all. Go into my spreadsheet. Paste it in the first cell. This is now pound dollar. And the strategy ID can be, uh, I'll call it BF for uh, breakout fade. Click extract data. There we go. We now have the pound dollar data for that system. Back to trading view. And now I'll do US yen. So we have a few major pairs and a minor pair here. Um, export data, US yen, one hour. Open that spreadsheet, list of trades, copy all, paste it into the import tab. Change this to US yen, extract data. There we go. We now have four different pairs we've extracted the performance data from all four pairs and by the way you can see the number hashtag next to each sheet if you import the same pair multiple times 
it will automatically import that into a different numbered sheet. So if you do run your system on multiple timeframes or you run multiple systems on the same currency, that will still work. Now what we can do is either click this button here, merge data, and we can change our starting balance, our simulated starting balance, or we can come up to this trade tools here and click merge extracted data, which will merge all of the data using a default value of 10,000. Uh, dollars and the currency doesn't matter here because we're simulating a percentage of our account balance per trade um, So there's no currency to input here. This will just be your broker's account currency So now what I need to do is just come up to trade tools merge extracted data click on that This will take a minute. It's now going through all four different currency pairs extracting all of the relevant data combining it all together and generating some charts. The premium version will have some charts, an equity curve chart and a drawdown curve chart. The free version won't have these charts and the um, different currency metrics and all of that up here. It will just have the combined strategy metrics, which is enough to get you started. I know a lot of people get annoyed when traders don't give away stuff for free on YouTube, but this took me many hours to put together. So I'm not giving the whole thing away for free. I'm reserving that for the customers of my courses. The free version is ample though, and you can easily add your own charts if you need to, if you know how to use spreadsheeting software. The extra features in the premium version are just for convenience. It just automatically creates these charts, but the free version does everything you need. Trust me, you may just need to add your own charts and extra metrics and maybe tweak the template yourself. That's all. So let's have a look at this information. So we have four years of data. We took an average of 249 trades per year. We have a sample size of 1,087 trades in total. We have a win rate of just 30%, but a risk reward ratio of three to one. So for every dollar we risk, we make $3 and we win 30% of the time. If you're not sure how that math works out, go and watch my YouTube channel, The Math of Winning. It's my biggest video on my channel and it explains how you can create an edge over the markets using asymmetrical risk reward um, you don't need to be right more than you're wrong. You just need to balance your risk reward ratio with your win rate. And that's what we've done here. So we've got a decent sample size, a thousand trades over four years on the one hour time frame. We have made $53,000. We've turned $10,000 into $53,000. So we've made $43,000 over that time period in the back test. We have an annual compound growth rate of 46% and a max drawdown of just 16%. Now, this number is probably a bit optimistic because even though we've included commission drag, because some of the systems that breakout fader uses limit orders, there's going to be the occasional missed trade. There's going to be, um, you know, and the future is never the same as the past. Past performance is not indicative of a future performance and all of that. And look, the point of backtesting is to try to disprove your system first and foremost and not get your hopes up too much. I've made a lot of money trading but keeping my expectations grounded has been paramount to emotional discipline and making realistic and sound financial decisions. It's better to underestimate what your system is capable of than to overestimate it any day of the week. So while these stats are good on paper, we need to be realistic. This back test represents perfect conditions, which is never the case in trading. And don't forget we've got tax as well. So take 30% of that straight out, give it to the tax man and, um, and let's not get ahead of ourselves and start doing the math and compounding and expecting to be millionaires from a $10,000 account in five years time. It's not going to happen, but it is possible to make very, very good returns out of the markets. If you take your trading seriously and you're a professional about it, I have over the past several years of trading. As the saying goes, most traders overestimate what they can achieve in a short period of time and significantly underestimate what they can achieve in a long period of time. This just tells us how the system would have performed over the past four years in perfect conditions. That's without any missed trades. That's assuming you took every trade, you were disciplined, um, your risk management was on point, you made no mistakes, which is honestly a lot easier when you have uh, a system, a systematic trading system. It's a lot easier to stick to a system and be disciplined, especially if you automate it through Pine Connector, which is what this whole series is about that I'm working on. Um, we also have some buttons here. We have the max drawdown. So if I click on that, it will take us to uh, the row, which induced our worst drawdown over the back test. So in 2022, on my birthday, 7th of June, 2022, we hit our worst drawdown um, in this back test. We also have our biggest winner, which was 12% of our account balance. So we had a massive winner. And what's cool about this is if we click on this, it'll take us to that row. 
we can see on US yen, we can see the date and the trade number. So we can go and see what that trade looked like on the charts. So now, what was it? 202 on US yen. So that's the breakout fader script. If we go to a uh, list of trades and we look for trade number 202, uh, which is here, and we click on the little target button here on the exit, we can have a look at what happened here. And there it is. Um, so we had a nice winner there. Um, the market only moved 2%, but remember our system is risking 1% per trade. So our entry would have been here, our stop loss was down here somewhere. Um, at the time, that was the ATR value. We had a very tight range here, preceding our setup. Um, this wick here filled us, and you can see by the um, wick there, we probably would have been filled on that on a one hour time frame Forex market. So there's our initial stop loss. So this trade was about a 12 to one winner. I think it said in the, uh, this is a trailing stop. So our stop loss, if you're using Pine Connector would be automatically updated after each bar close. And here is where we got stopped out. If you look at the results, that was a 12% gain. So that's about a 12 to one risk reward if we're risking 1% per trade. And if we scroll over here, we have some breakdown metrics. So the breakout system took 538 trades over those two pairs and had a risk reward of about two to one. The UPS has a risk reward of about 3.8 to one. And when you combine these systems together, we get a nice looking equity curve there. It's pretty volatile. I mean, Forex markets are volatile. That's why I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket. I wouldn't have a huge chunk of money in, in this sort of system. I wouldn't go over 20 or 30 grand. It depends on your net worth, obviously, what you're able to trade. Uh, but I would obviously be using risk capital on this system. I wouldn't be putting my life savings behind it because the volatility is going to be quite high in a system like this. But you get the idea. This gives us an, a way to objectively analyze how systems would have performed when they combined on a portfolio basis across multiple pairs, timeframes, etc. So that'll do it for this video. I'm putting together a backtesting course this year, which will go into great detail about my backtesting process on the stock market using real test and the Forex market using uh, this new tool and using Pine Connector to auto trade. Uh, where I'll explain how I interpret these metrics, what metrics are good to me, what robustness means, what I'm looking for in a, in a system, what I would trade versus what seems too good to be true, uh, red flags to look out for, what realistic expectations are out of systematic trading and things like that. This is a very small sample. I wouldn't trade the system with only four pairs. I would preferably have at least five, six pairs per system and I'd want more data. I'd want to go back probably about 10 years. And if we do that, these metrics are going to look very different. I'm sure of it. Um, the system just happened to perform very well over the past four years. On an hourly time frame. that's pretty solid. The markets aren't going to change dramatically year to year, but they will over the course of a 10 year period, you know? So these metrics will not look the same on the preceding four years or five or six years. Um, so these are all things we need to go into great detail in, in future content and in a future course. But for now, this tool is there for you guys to play around with. Start combining your systems together and see what you can build. Um, I'm a big fan of multi-strategy systems. I think that's a great way to diversify as a trader, especially if you can combine different systems. You know, the UPS is a trend system. The breakout fade is a mean reversion system. These two obviously complement each other quite well. Both systems have a, about a 15% drawdown, max drawdown. If these were both trend systems and I combine them, our max drawdown might have been 30 plus percent because if you're combining two systems, you get overlapping performance metrics. If they're the same sort of system, um, you don't know that until you combine this data. And if you're just trading multiple systems blindly and you're, and you're only trading them in isolation and you're not comparing them to each other and their correlation with each other, you can be in for a rude shock if those systems um, are highly correlated. Um, at some point, I'll add correlation metrics and stuff like that to the premium version of the spreadsheet. But for now, the free version will be below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this in the course, the premium version link is under this video. Have fun, guys. Good luck with your trading. And I'll speak with you in the next video.